The Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 is comfortably among the best smart watches on sale right now, but as it nears its first birthday, a successor is surely waiting in the wings. With not long to go until the firm's July 2023 unpacked event, the rumor mill has rumbled into life and the signs are looking good. A new Galaxy Watch 6 is almost certainly on the way. There are a fair few more rival wearables on sale today than there were when the Watch 5 trail launched, so Samsung will have to up its game in order to stay ahead. Does that mean big design, hardware, and feature changes? Today, I'm gonna tell everything I've heard so far, along with a wish list of features we'd love to see Samsung include. But before moving forward, if you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss any Galaxy update ever. As we already know, Galaxy Watch 6 series is almost certainly on the way. In a recent press release announcing new One UI 5 watch features, Samsung said the update would be available on the upcoming Galaxy Watch series later this year. What exactly though? July seems like the safest bet, despite the firm picking August for its big reveal the past three years. That's because Samsung has confirmed it will be holding an unpacked event in Seoul, South Korea in late July. An exact date has yet to be confirmed, although rumors point to the 26th. It'll be the first time Samsung has held an unpacked event on home soil, and we'll almost certainly see the new watch revealed alongside the Galaxy Z Fold and Flip 5. To be blunt, there's almost no way we won't see a new Samsung smartwatch in 2023. Samsung launched a massive wave of smartwatch innovations when the Galaxy Watch 4 series introduced Wear OS 3. The Watch 5 series currently still rides that swell. While plenty of other Wear OS-based wearables are making strides, there's little doubt Samsung would launch a new generation this summer to keep up its own momentum. The company would be hard-pressed to abandon the race, especially with devices like the Pixel Watch gunning for a new user base. Fortunately, Samsung all but confirmed that a 6 series is headed to shelves in a recent announcement of the new One UI 5 watch features. In this press release, Samsung said the update will be available on the upcoming Galaxy Watch series later this year. Sure, it didn't use the official name, but it's safe to say a new Galaxy Watch will be here soon. Meanwhile, watches that carry model numbers looking a lot like the Watch 6 passed through the FCC. This usually means a launch is imminent. Now the biggest question is, will there be a Galaxy Watch 6 Pro model? This question is a bit trickier. There haven't been many rumors about what we can expect from the Watch 6 series yet. It's very likely Samsung will stick with its two-prong approach and offer two watches. However, will the company return to the classic model, keep the Pro moniker, or go for broke and use both for a total of three variants? If our Watch 5 Pro review is any indication, the latter proved a very successful pivot. We'll just need to wait and see. The latest generation didn't bring a remarkable design change to the Galaxy Watch line. In fact, our reviewer mentioned feeling deja vu when unboxing the device for his Galaxy Watch 5 review. That isn't necessarily a complaint, however, as the watches share an elegant aesthetic, eye-catching emerald displays, and impressive specs. With the winning design on its hands, it's likely that we can expect Samsung to deliver much of the same next time around. However, it does seem Samsung will switch things up slightly by offering a 2023 Classic model. Some leaked renders provided by Steve on Leaks Hemmerstoffer appear to show the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. If this is what the Classic will look like, then it seems like the watch will be right in line with the most recent Classic, the Watch 4 Classic. From what we can tell from the renders, there could be a rotating bezel, home and back buttons, and a magnetic strap. It's unclear if the Galaxy Watch 6 lineup will include just the Classic or also include a Pro, but we expect at least two models in multiple sizes. It's also very unlikely Samsung will deviate from its usual circular case or interchangeable quick-release bands. The Series 5 upped the ant on some durability specs, which will likely carry over to the next lineup, and we're hopeful we'll see the D-buckle clasp return as well. On the spec side, it looks like the Watch 6 series may land with a much better processor. According to Sammobile, there may be a Samsung Exynos WU980 on its way, which could be up to 10% faster. It could also usher in better battery life, as Samsung might use a newer 5 in process than that of the W920. There have also been some rumors that Samsung may bring micro-LED displays to the lineup, the echoing similar rumors about Apple's next Ultra model. According to Sammobile, however, the tech won't be ready in time for a July launch, so it's likely this upgrade won't debut until the Galaxy Watch 7. Micro-LED displays offer a brighter viewing experience with better color reproduction and visibility. They could also help conserve battery life. Speaking of battery life, according to Galaxy Club, the batteries on the Watch 6 series could get a boost this year. The information comes courtesy of certifications obtained by the smartwatches in Samsung's home country, South Korea. The basic Watch 6 model could have 40mm and 44mm variants. The former could have a 300mAh battery, 
compared to the 284 of the 40mm Galaxy Watch 5. Meanwhile, the 44m Watch 6 could see a 425mA battery, a slight increase over the 410 of the 44mm Watch 5. In early May, Samsung announced a few key features that will debut on the Watch 6. These will arrive with One UI 5 Watch, a new version of the Wear OS skin. One of the biggest highlights of the update is Fitbit-like sleep tracking. With a word-based numeric score and a cute animal, the new sleep tracking platform offers a personalized look at your sleep history and even provides suggestions for improving your sleep habits. Unlike Fitbit, however, this feature will not be locked behind a paywall. Not much detail is available yet about what tracking features might improve in the next generation. On the sensor front, it's safe to assume we will still find an accelerometer, barometer, gyroscope, geomagnetic sensor, and Samsung's bioactive sensor. The lineup will also most likely pack the same temperature sensor, though we hope to see it put to better use. We found the fitness tracking and built-in GPS on the current series quite reliable. Also arriving with the new One UI 5 watch is workout heart rate zones for even more advanced real-time training feedback. These zones will be distinguished as warm-up, fat burn, cardio, etc. Additionally, Samsung is also bringing an update to fall detection for even safer workouts and outings. When the feature is triggered, users will be able to communicate directly with emergency services. One feature we know is coming is a nifty new way to transfer your watch from one phone to another. Previously, this would require a full reset of the watch, but One UI 5 watch will negate the need for this annoying step. Thankfully, this means if you buy a Galaxy Watch 6 and then upgrade next year to the Galaxy S24, you won't need to reset your watch during a transfer. The Pro model brought new navigation features on board for outdoor enthusiasts, likening the device to an experience you might find in Garmin's stable. It's likely that those tools are here to stay as well. It's yet to be determined if they will make their way to the base model of the Series 6 lineup. Pricing is a tricky topic to speculate on in the current climate. Last year, the Galaxy Watch 5 series launched at $279 for a base model device. The Pro model, which is only available in a single size, launched at $449. Each option also came with an upcharge for their respective LTE versions. These 5 series launch prices were roughly $30 higher than those of the previous generation. On the one hand, it's hard to imagine Samsung raising the price again this year. On the other, Samsung's current prices remain competitive compared to its rival out of Cupertino. Asking shoppers to spend more for a quality wearable is not out of the question. If Samsung introduces significant enough improvements, the new series may warrant a more expensive bill. So, what are your expectations from upcoming Galaxy Watch lineup from Samsung? Share your wish list below in the comment section. And if you guys enjoy the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.